Hey everyone, how's it going? Wanted to give a quick update on the Emacs Magnum sort of stack here. Um, been flying it for, probably put 15 or so packs through it, and so far no complaints. It's uh, it's flown as you would expect. Uh, this is my first time ever flying a F4 flight controller, so I can say that I really can't tell much difference, probably because I'm not that good of a pilot, but I really can't tell much difference between, say, the Combini, which is, I think is an F3, and this is a, an F4 board. But that being said, it does fly very well. Um, it's very responsive, very predictable, and I'm using stock PIDs from Betaflight, and this is flashed with 3.1.7, and I haven't really got daring enough to go and put 3.2 on it, just because I don't really see a need to. This. I don't really want to use you know, turtle mode or any of that other stuff. So as far as the flying characteristics, it's great. One of the things that I'm kind of bummed about is the fact that the satellite port on the front here doesn't actually work as described. You can't actually just put your 3.3 negative and your receive right there. The issue is, I believe this is tied to RX1. So the problem with that is you already have something tied to your UART1 channel. So you actually have to go and put this on UART3 back here. Um, it's not the end of the world, it's just one wire. But with this stack, what I was really looking forward to is having everything in one nice little package and you know, wires just all nice and neat. It was kind of gonna be my you know really tidy build that I was gonna be able to do. So I wasn't able to do that. Now that is, is because I'm not using the, the Tyrannus, you know, tiny little receiver that goes around the board and you have no issues with. So that's that's just a complaint from, from me using Spectrum. So if you're gonna get this and use Spectrum, you have to use your UART3 as your signal. So what is it, RX3 back here on your um, on your pads. So that's, that's one big thing. Um, this is also the first time I used a UFL connector. So um, I would recommend if you get one of these, um, and this is a recommendation I got from one of the guys in my group, Center FPV, so thanks for that. Um, get one of these tiny little ones. They work great and it's, you know, it's really easy to set up. All I did was you know, mount it through there and I just hot glued it right there. So. On the Talon, it works great. I assume on other quads, it would work just as well. Um, now you, you might not get enough wire, but for me, it worked out good. So your mileage may vary on that. Other than that, it's a, it's a great flying stack, man. The VTX works great. Haven't had any issues with that. The ESCs, I flashed them up to the newest firmware. Was kind of concerned with that in case one of them went bad, but everything was good there. So, all in all, I think it's pretty good. I don't really see any sort of um, issues with it other than the uh, satellite being uh, kind of mislabeled there. But yeah, other than that, we're all set and uh, it uh, has no issues. So yeah, well, just wanted to give that quick update on what I found. Um, if you have any questions, comments, anything like that, leave them down below and uh, we'll catch you next time.